Hi, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the icon animals like cats and dogs into Blender. From the icon 7, I go and click the prop. And at the prop here, you have a folder that, that is 3D Live Props. Double click it. Here I have a cat. Just need to drag it out. These cats have some animation. How many animation that, that it has? Totally have six animation. To import this cat into Blender, the first step, you just need to double click your prop and make sure it already selected at the scene. This is the cat. Then you click Edit in 3D Exchange. This is 3D Exchange 7 Pipeline, the Pipeline version. Then you can export this. This is the cat size. This is the human size references. So now, from the 3D Exchange 7, I will export it here, I open a new folder Cat with animation To export to Blender I double click this folder, it is empty now To export to Blender, we use the FBX format So here Click FBX, export the FBX Copy this folder location, Ctrl C, and then paste here, Ctrl V. This is the destination. Then here, we click Maya window 32 bit optimize. Take this and take this. Make sure here, embedded texture. The axis and the unit to import into Blender. Before you export it out, you need to change to Z up. This is very important. And here include geometry and also include the animation. And click here, save one text per file. And the sampling rate is 30 FPS. Now, the file name I put cat. Then OK. Now here it, it will separate all. All other geometry and included the animation, for example, the cat run, the cat meow. In the blender, I just need to delete this cube, click here and press delete. So now in blender, I import this, file import fbx. Then, copy this folder location, Ctrl C, and paste here, Ctrl V, and always remember to press Enter. After that, at here, I want to import the cat meow, .fbx. Now you can see, it is here. I click this to turn on the texture. And here, you, you already have the animation keyframe. You just need to play it. And that's all. All the skeleton already included. You can always go to the post mode and you can create some of the animation. Here, if I record the keyframe, and here, I create a new keyframe, then you can see my new animation as well.
And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my if you love my video tutorial, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channels and turn on the mini bell so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video.